All right, so the moment of truth has arrived. I'm here at Clifford's Garage. Hopefully you can get the sign here. Now, they're busier than hell. They, they, <laughs> I was hoping they would help me, but what they're gonna do is let me use their tire gauge and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try every tire gauge I got, and we're gonna check these tires and see what's in them, and uh, let's find out what the dealer did to my car. Should be interesting. Uh, maybe they they're right. Maybe I'm wrong. We'll see. Let's get going. All right, so we're here at Clifford's Garage. We're getting ready to check the tire pressure after the dealer let the tire pressure out of the tires. We're going to make sure with his new, with his high powered tire pressure gauge that everything's okay here. And I, I can't believe he's doing this for me. I tell you what, Clifford's Garage is the best place you ever want to come. Let's, let's see what we got. Now that's supposed to be 36 pounds. Yeah, I am actually probably, according to this gauge, we're roughly right around that area. Right around 36? Yeah, yeah we are right around that. All right, so I'll be dissing the, 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 the dealer here. You know, it sounds like it, it, this one's okay. All right. Well, that's good to hear. I, you know, because I tell you what, when he told me he lit air pressure out of these tires, I thought for sure that they'd all be low. Let's let's check them. This is now. Tell us about this tire gauge. What what what's so great about this tire gauge? Uh, it's just a snap-on uh, tire gauge, so it's you know supposed to be the best of the best. It, it's what, actually it, a blue point, but it comes from snap-on. From Snap-on now, so this is like what a hundred dollar tire gauge or something? Yeah, I think so. Somewhere around there. I forget exactly what we paid for. Yeah, we're right around there still. 35. 35? All right, that's that's the correct pressure. All right, well good enough, good enough. So maybe he didn't let a lot of pressure out. That's that was what bothered me. But you still agree that my tire gauge shouldn't be off by five pounds, but you know, I guess we'll we'll keep going. Yeah, yeah, we would, we would definitely have to uh, compare it with this and see what readings we get next to each other. I'll tell you what, they are busier than hell here at Clifford's Garage, and for him to be doing this is just uh, amazing. As long as they got keys and you can get it out of gear and there's no issues, it's gears and everything. All right? All right, thanks. So here we go. This is the third tire. So with two tires now. Now this one should be 36 pounds. Yeah, this one's about right on the money. Now that's the tire that was at 28. That's where the tire pressure gauge went off. And they said there's no nail on that tire, so I guess I'll have to trust them. I did drive all the way from uh, from the coast to here on that tire. So now you, you said you actually overinflate the tires a little bit because people don't check them that often between oil changes. So I, you know, I, I don't understand why they were upset about. Yeah, we're good. All tires are good. Yep, yep, we're good. All right, man, that's it, folks, for this video. I'm I'm so happy. I'm traveling 3,000 miles. It looks like the tires are good to go. Thank God for Clifford's Garage. Woohoo! So you may have thought that the tire pressure video was over there at Clifford's, but this is what we're going to do. I've got these tire pressure gauges, and I'm going to put them on the tire. Of course, I'm going to have to pump it up afterwards, I'm sure, because I'm going to let air out of the tire trying to check it with all these tire gauges. Let's just see how accurate they are. He says that the uh, tire pressure, I'm just going to do the right rear tire here. He said the tire pressure in there should be 35 pounds and uh, I'll find out and I'll give you the results when I'm done testing all these tire gauges. I don't want to waste your time while you watch me uh, check the pressure with all of these. But anyway, that's, that's where we're at now. Alright, so I, I don't get it, but every tire gauge I got is pretty doggone accurate. <clears throat> 
So this one, true flate here with the, the actually the cap is busted on that, but I'm gonna I'm gonna glue it back on. That says I got 36 pounds. Now if you look at this accu gauge, it says 35, which is right where the tire's at. And this precision here says 35. And the two digital gauges say 35. So I mean these cheap um, uh, you know, AutoZone or O'Reilly's or whatever, wherever I bought them, uh, they work pretty good, you know. The other thing I wanted to show you real quick is this tire cap right here. Okay, and let's get that right on the camera. Now, if you look down in there, see that little uh, washer that's down in there? You can buy these at Amazon, and this is metal, okay? Unlike the plastic ones. You know, when you over-twist those plastic ones, they'll, uh, they'll actually break. Now, your tire pressure cap is real important and uh, so that's why I bought these uh, they didn't cost a whole lot you can get a whole bag of them and I put them on my cars uh, you know if, I mean that's the first thing I did when I got this car is I replaced it with these metal caps because the valve stem cap is, is really important to you um, so I guess that's it for the tire pressure video you can see these cheap gauges work pretty doggone good a 35 35 35 35 36 so i mean what can you say you know so i don't know what the dealer was talking about he said these are off by five pounds I, it's full of crap there but he they were correct and uh the tires must have been slightly overflate over inflated i, I don't know because the tire pressure is good to go now now i did heat the tires up just a little bit on my way to um, uh, clifford's so, uh, you know, we're, we're talking about a little bit of a hot pressure. So I'll probably put another pound in these tires uh, before I make the trip. I got to wait till they get nice and cold and uh, I'll check them one last time and, uh, and we're good to go. The tire pressure video is over. Peace out and stay free. Woohoo! So I wanted to add one last thing to the tire pressure video here. And I think this is a sad statement. You know, back in the day, we all had horses, you know, 100 years ago before cars came into existence. And uh, imagine how difficult it was, you know, you had to, to shovel the poo, you had to feed them, you had to brush them, you had to take care of them. And just to tell you what people are like today, I, I'm at Clifford's and he says, uh, he says, yeah, you know, he says, I don't know why they would let air out of your tires. He said, we usually pump them up to about... 30 you know 40 pounds he said because people don't check their tire pressure between oil changes and they'll lose about five pounds before they bring the car back i'm just pausing right here i mean are you so damn lazy you won't even check your doggone tire pressure between oil changes i mean how stupid is that you know your car is your chariot it's your horse i mean it's 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 everything in your universe to get around and run errands and pick up your groceries and do everything. Take care of your doggone car, people. I mean, can you imagine somebody not checking their tire pressure and driving the car? Well, let's just say 5,000 miles, but I think most people probably go 10,000 miles, and it could be a year. So you're going a year without checking your tire pressure? And, and you got a garage like... Clifford's it's gonna pump your tires up to 40 pounds because you're too doggone lazy to get out there and just put a little gauge on the tire and, they, and we proved out those AutoZone uh, or O'Reilly's or wherever you want to buy those tire gauges are pretty accurate I mean uh, within one pound all of mine and, and I tried five of them anyway I guess that's it I'm done lecturing you know I just want to give you I wanted to give you hell man give you hell all right you guys peace out Stay free. So I keep thinking, <laughs> and I'm done with this video. I apologize. I mean, you're probably looking at it like, wow, when is this guy ever going to shut up? Um, two other things that, that popped into my head was, you know, watch the wear on your tires. Okay, so it's okay to overinflate a tire by a few pounds. Uh, if you see that the, the outer portion of the tire is wearing... Uh, unevenly to the middle of the tire because then you want to get the wear and tear on the middle of the tire by over inflating it 
And just the opposite, of course, if the middle of the tire's tread is getting low, but you got great tread on the outside of the tire, then you know to underinflate the tire by a pound or two. The other thing, uh, and, and by the way, I mean, that's, that's something, for, let's just take an example, was my golf cart. When, when we got it, I guess the tires must not have been pumped up in quite some time because they were very low. And it, it was very obvious because the outside of the tire was worn and the, the inside, uh, the middle tread was, was, was perfect, you know. So I, I immediately overinflated those tires to, to get the wear on the tire. The other thing is alignment, okay. Um, Firestone's got a plan. I don't know if other car tire places do. Uh, I got a new car now, so I can't even do it. But uh, you can buy a lifetime um, alignment uh, package when you pick up those uh, Bridgestone tires at uh, Firestone. Uh, it's uh, it's almost 200 bucks. But I tell you what, it pays for itself, especially if you live in a northern state where the roads are bad. You know, you got to check that alignment at least twice a year. Um, but if you if you don't have a, a plan, those alignments are expensive. They're like 70, 80 bucks these days. So what you got to do is uh, just check the tires. You know, if you see that the one side of the tire is wearing more than the other side of the tire, then you probably have an alignment problem. And of course, you can always feel it when you're driving the car. Is it let go of the steering wheel? Is it going to pull into the left? Is it pulling to the right? Now the roads are naturally sloped. You know, so your car may just drift over to the right <coughs> as a result of the slope of the road but uh but not not to the extreme i mean if you're if you're out of alignment but the, the main thing is just look at the tread on the tire <coughs> all right sorry about that i guess there's some pollen in the air here all right that's it for this video i swear i will not add anything else but you know this was all about tires and uh tire pressure so all right you guys chill out be free